Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1. I'll be using my iPhone 4 GSM. This will also work on other iPhone devices as well, in addition to the iPod Touch and the original iPad. Now this won't work on the iPad second generation or the iPad 2 because something about the bootloader and something that Apple changed for a security measure. And this won't work for the Verizon wireless iPhone 4 either because technically that device is running 4.2.6 or something along those lines as opposed to 4.3.1. So let's hop over to the internet and I'll show you exactly what you need to download. Again, head on over to our favorite website, blog.iphone-dev.org. That's where you can find all your jailbreaking needs. Uh, and now you have two choices. You can use Ponage Tool or Red Snow because both of those products will work with Apple's latest firmware 4.3. Point one. However, we're going to be using Red Snow in this demonstration because, well, for two reasons, really. First of all, the instructions will be exactly the same whether you're on Mac OS X or Windows, and also it's just a little bit easier. So you can just go ahead and download Red Snow uh, 0.9.6 Release Candidate 9 for either Mac OS X or Windows, and you can just go ahead and install that. So I'll open it up here. I already have it downloaded. And what you need to do is basically uh, take your device and you want to have it updated to the latest firmware so of course that's 4.3.1 um, that's what we'll be using and then you want to make sure your device is plugged in and turned off so mine's powering down right now now what you want to do is you want to click browse and you want to locate where that same software file that's on your computer that's on your device is saved so there's a specific folder for iTunes I've made a copy of it and stored it on my desktop. In this case it's iPhone 3 comma 1 underscore 4.3.1 and we can just click open. Again those are IPSW files. It'll process it and identify it and it'll go ahead and process the kernel and just do some pre-jailbreak stuff. So it'll go ahead and, and patch and patch and continue to patch. And again, at this point, uh, your your device, whether that be the iPhone 4 or the original iPad or whatever, is plugged in and turned off. So basically, uh, there's not a lot of choices right now, but you just want to make sure Install City is selected because that's essentially the reason why you'd have this. Um, so click Next. Please make sure that your device is off and plugged in. Um, so we have that. So click Next only when your device is off and plugged in. So we're going to click Next. So now we're going to hold down the power. Hold that down for two seconds. And now we're going to hold down the uh, power button and the home button. Without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This is basically putting your device into DFU mode. And now you can stop. It'll be exploiting uh, the security thing that it uses to get the jailbreak data in there. And it'll go ahead and reboot and install and if we look here on the device it actually says downloading jailbreak data kinda hard to see because that's just the webcam uh... the rest of the process just happens on the device so basically it's just running a lot of installation code um, but once that's done ins installing I'll get back to you so you can just click finish and wait so now we're all done I've disconnected it here's the iPhone 4 of course and if we look over here, we have Cydia, and we can go ahead and open that up. It'll load all its little business. Now we have access to that unofficial app store that has some pretty quality features. Um, and just to prove to you that this is, in fact, 4.3, we can go to General About. And as you can see here, 4.3.1, 8G4, and, of course, AT&T. So I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. That's how you jailbreak iOS 4.3.1. For the iPhone 4, again, this will work on the original iPad, not the iPad 2, or the Verizon Wireless iPhone 4, in addition to the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touches that support this firmware. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.